Hey y'all, welcome back to Life with Lo. So today I'm just going to be talking about how to self-maintain your starter locks, especially during a time like this, during the quarantine, when you are unable to go to your stylist to take care of your locks. So honestly, this video is for people who have started their locks anytime in 2020 or even in the last six months. This video it would be pretty good for you because your locks are not mature yet your locks are, are in a very delicate period and you might need some pointers for what to do during this time when you are unable to get your hair maintained by your stylist so stay tuned this video is for you everybody's locks mature at a different rate so even though you might have started your locks a year ago, you are still struggling and still, you know, needing some assistance. Your hair has not fully locked yet, depending on your texture. So this video is still for you guys as well. And uh, here's just a couple of tips. So my first tip would be, honestly, if your hair is already styled up like in an updo or a crown or it's just it's tied up and it's styled up some kind of way. Honestly, I would recommend just leaving it like that for as long as you can. Sometimes those styles could stretch out a good four weeks or more. But if you can, just leave your hair in that style because the less manipulation you apply to your hair during this time, the better. Um, so I would just say to leave it in that style. If you recently got it retwisted and your stylist had um, braided it or barrel twisted it down in some sort of way or put it in a crown, just leave it like that because it will make the rest of your maintenance a lot easier. And like I said, depending on how far along you are in your journey, it'll be good for you because it'll re prevent your hair from unraveling or coming loose in any areas so good for you now if it's not already styled and maybe you had an appointment coming up pretty soon what i will recommend you do so that you can keep your hands out of your hair is i will recommend that you braid it down yourself or have somebody in your household just braid your stutter locks down this will be easier for people who have two strand twists because you're less likely for them to unravel like it's probably not going to unravel but if you have coils you can still do this you just have to be very careful because coils are a lot squishier i don't know what word to use but they're like so much softer because they're hollow it's just a coil with nothing inside of it so they're a lot you know harder to do this but you can still braid it down that way your hair just kind of stays put and you don't too much got to worry about it the second tip i have for you is your locks are going to suffer from wanting to lock together marrying together at the root of your hair you're going to notice that the locks are going to start to like combine i don't really know why they do that they just have this tendency to want to just be a big matted mess and it just wants to marry together some tips to prevent this from happening outside of of course having it styled is if you are going to leave your hair down your starter locks down then you're going to want to go in and separate your hair at the root every so often i would say like once a week you don't need to do this all the time because you'll be ripping and pulling your hair but maybe like once a week during the next four, five, six weeks that you're not able to get to a stylist, just make sure you're going in and separating your each individual lock at the root. That's what I would say. Before you do this, spray on water or some sort of liquid moisture mist or something like that because don't do this while your hair is dry. It's going to hurt and it's also going to break your hair. So don't do this while your hair is dry. Just spray some mist on it of some sort. Some water can be rose water, can be like a rose water and essential oil mixed together. And you just go in and you spray it all over. And then you're going to separate each individual lock. Give it a good shake. And you should be good for the next like week or so. Okay? But of course your best bet is to style it down so that it's not just loose and out and easily manipulated. But anyways, the next thing is when you take a shower. Now, if you have coils, your hair is very 
likely to unravel, poof up, come out if you're not wrapping your hair up when you're taking a shower because even though it don't actually get the water on it, the mist from the shower will poof up your coils and your, your hair. If you have two strand twists, you won't suffer from this as much depending on the texture of your hair. If you have like a softer, finer hair type and um, your two strand twists could still come out in the shower. So I would say put on a shower cap. If you must, you can put on a um, stocking cap. You can put a stocking cap on first and then put on your shower cap before you know you get into the shower and that will preserve your hair too. So just keeping it wrapped up when you're exposed to moisture in this. Tip number four would be wearing a night scarf or a, a satin night scarf, a satin do-rag, and for some people even a bonnet, a satin bonnet, wearing that to bed. Do not let your hair just be out and just free falling while you're sleeping because obviously some of us sleep wild and your hair gonna be really frizzy, your hair gonna be all over the place and the hair could your hair could come out and unravel. So don't go to sleep without tying your hair up, especially not in a time like this because what if you can't fix it or somebody in your household can't fix your locks? You're gonna be really, you know, out here looking crazy even though you probably can't go nowhere right now. But still, tie your hair down. Now's the time. Ain't nobody gonna be seeing you on the regular who isn't already seeing you in your household. So now's a good time to wear your head wraps, your scarves, your do wraps, your bonnets, your wave caps, your wig caps. All of that is cool. Uh, also, don't, if you're going to wear these um, scarves and head wraps and bonnets and all of that that's tight, don't tie it too tight because tie it tight enough, but not too tight because sometimes, you know, you damage your edges if you have it tied too tight. So tie it down here. You know real low on your forehead or you know tie it in the back or something just be careful y'all not tying your bonnets too tight and your edges because that's another reason why your edges could have alopecia it's because too much tension going on with the tie right here at the top you feel me switch the ties to the back baby okay the next thing is a good one what products you should be using on your locks during this time of course, your locks going to get dry, being that you can't or haven't washed it yet. Your locks are going to be dry. So, a couple of things. You're going to want to get your um, mist type of conditioner, some type of leave-in mist conditioner that's like liquid-based. That way, it's very easy to apply. It's not a cream, it's not a gel, it's not a grease. It's just a mist. It's liquid. So you could go in, spray it all over your hair, spray it on your scalp, spray it on the ends of your locks. So if your locks are styled, spray it all over and just let it sit. That way the hair is not super dry and you can control it that way. And then uh, like what I recommend for my clients to use, what I provide my clients with is just a rose water and a jojoba oil uh, blend. It's got a little vitamin E in there as well. And that'll allow your hair to be to get a little moisture and it'll also give it a little bit of a shine as well so it's not so dull looking after you put that on you could put that on about two times a week after that you can put on your oil blend so you can use like about four or five oils just keep in mind when you make your oil blend you're gonna use of course your essential oil but it should be diluted in a carrier oil for example, if you're going to use things like tea tree, peppermint, eucalyptus, lavender, lemongrass, all of that, you can mix uh, those oils into a carrier oil such as olive oil, avocado oil, um, what's another one, almond oil, it's a lot of stuff you could use, but yeah, a grapeseed oil, these are all good carrier oils. So. Put a little bit, a couple of drops of the essential oil into a good applicator bottle full of carrier oil and just go in and, you know, drop that all over your scalp. You don't need to, you know, manipulate too much, but you could just rub it in there so you're getting some good nutrients. Of course, you could put some castor oil in that joint, 
help it grow while you're waiting right but those are good to use now um if you are gonna retwist it yourself if you braid and you confident if you want to go ahead and um do a little bit of a retwist yourself just a quick tip don't use anything that have beeswax in the ingredient list because that's going to build up in your locks and it's going to be hard for your stylist to wash that out when she's trying to with retwist your hair i wouldn't recommend using it i would not recommend using black styling gel um so use a product that is not has no beeswax in it no alcohol things like that in um the ingredient list i would say check with your stylist ask what she has already used on your hair and if you're confident with it you could continue to use it and um but if not just get something like cream based um i'll leave a picture somewhere of what i use i think the my gel by joey naturals is great it's heavily with uh, natural ingredients in it and it leaves no build up and it washes out quite easily so you could use a little bit of this we don't need to be heavy on the product just a little bit of product you know you could use to retwist your hair with for the time being you can also use it on your edges mm, what else in between washes if you're not able to wash your hair right now i would say you could use a product such as um a witch hazel diluted into water and you could you can even put a little drop of like tea tree in it little drop no need to get carried away of tea tree into your witch hazel that is diluted into distilled water and spray that all over your scalp don't do this often maybe once a week or maybe once every two weeks just go in and spray that on your scalp massage it in with your finger or cotton ball and this will reduce your itch your irritation a lot so do this let it sit for like 30 minutes and after 30 minutes follow up maybe even after an hour follow up and put that oil blend that you were using back on your scalp so you can reapply some nutrients because it just it's a toner so it just kind of canceled out everything that was on your scalp before okay what else okie dokie and my next tip number six was washing your hair now if you can refrain from washing your starter locks during this whole time that you have to wait i would advise you wait to wash your starter locks because it is very critical what you do with your hair after you come out from a wash it is not okay to just wash it and keep it stepping now so if you can refrain from washing your locks during the next four five six weeks until you can get back in your stylist's chair then wait but of course not everybody can wait so if you must wash your hair i would recommend especially if your hair is excuse me started with coils shorter than five inches if it's like three four or five inches you could definitely do these things and if your hair is not you know very soft and it was going to take it a while to lock then you should definitely be wearing a stocking cap wig cap wave cap whatever you wish to call it wear that before you get into the shower then you're gonna massage the shampoo into your hair mm -hmm. massage massage and then rinse it all out when you're doing that i know this will be hard for people with dandruff because y'all especially need to make sure that you know you're washing the dandruff out rinsing it and washing it out so it's not sitting inside of your locks but otherwise make sure you have your cap on when you're getting out of the shower or out of from washing your hair dry it with a towel while your cap is still on the head because you don't want to be doing all of this and your hair is going everywhere dry it with a towel while the cap is still on your head that way you know everything can stay in place it's not too much moving around and then after you dry and you get most of the water out then you can let it air dry a little bit more but remember if you're not going to retwist it yourself just while it's still damp go in and, and just make sure each individual lock is separated all the way to the root 
That way it doesn't dry while it's all mushed and matted together. Okay, makes sense. And once again, after you wash it and you separate it, go down and braid it down into small little plaits all the way down. Or if you're good like that, you could style it some kind of way. Give yourself a cute little barrel twist crown or something. And just let it be. Don't forget to apply your moisture mist and your oil before you do this, before you do all that. Okay. Now, you will struggle a lot less with washing your hair if your hair has been started with two-strand twists because two-strand twists are a lot less likely to come out. So, usually you're safe, but if you have coils, you're going to have a little more issue when it comes to washing your hair. So, if you can refrain from washing your hair, I advise you do so. Maybe on another video, I will give you guys some tips for retwisting your own starter locks at home. I also want to make a video for um, what I advise you to do if you want to start your locks at home. So if you have any friends or family at home who want to start their locks, honestly, I just feel like now is a really good time. But because everybody's online, they can't go nowhere. It's okay if you don't look cute. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I just really want to give people some tips for how they can start their locks at home with a loctician's perspective, you know? So, it's like you can still do it the right way. You can still do it yourself. You just need to know the right things to do it the right way. So, that video is in the making as well and will be next. So, I'm excited about that. So, if you haven't already, definitely comment. And tell me how you like this video. Tell me if it was helpful or if to you or someone you know you could send it to. And uh, like this video and subscribe, of course, because we're going to be having a lot of fun with the next videos I'm excited for. So thanks, guys, for watching. I hope this helped my clients. I'm going to be sending this video to y'all. And I hope this helped other people who are in the same boat. And yeah. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in another video.